Um, uh, we've got uh, what James was saying is true. And last week we mentioned the Swedish company abandoning their uh, Vad Blatten or whatever they're called, abandoning their North Sea windmills. This week we learned that the Swedish have also kicked uh, this same mob, Vattenfall, away, saying that they, their proposed windmills out at sea, offshore wind farm, would have negative effects on the environment. Take note, Chris Bowen. Take note, Labor, Tanya Plibersek. Negative effects on the environment. That's offshore windmills and is against the national interest. That's Sweden. How dare you inflict this on us, Labor? Absolute disgrace. Meanwhile, James, we learn more and more that... Uh, uh, the EVs, the electric vehicles. Uh, there's a ferry in the middle of somewhere or other that's on fire because of all the electric vehicles. Yeah, in vehicles. the North Sea, and it's actually quite tragic because at least one sailor has died. The, the, uh, the cargo ship was transporting was believed to be a whole load of EVs. Now, the thing is about EVs and these batteries, and we're seeing this also with the e-scooters and the e-bikes that are littering our footpaths all over the Western world now in the name of saving the environment. Um, that they catch fire, and once they catch fire, they're almost impossible to put out. They burn really, really hot, and, you know, once they all catch fire, it's an absolute disaster. Now, we're supposed to be putting these things in the, you know, uh, basement yeah, car parks of apartment yes, blocks? Yes, yeah, exactly. And, and uh, councils and are spending a fortune. Wrong. Exactly. If you've got, I don't know, hundreds of these in some... Uh, Ten-story car park under a massive building. <coughs> no, that's the no, no, no. 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 Lane Cove that's Council. Another viewer sent us in Lane Cove Council, spending half a million or something on some battery or something like that.